Justin does, he has this way of, and, and to be fair, we just had this whole conversation yesterday about setting up our show, right? Because we, we set up the show, and I said we have to do it on Sunday night because I Monday morning is not an option for me. And he's like, I set it up faster on Monday by myself anyway. And I'm like, okay, but you know, and he's like, you don't need to worry about it. And I said, but you know, I I want to help, and that. What, where do we go from there? I can't even remember where we went. It, it just turned into this whole thing where it wasn't even a whole thing. It was a little thing. But basically he was like, I'm more efficient on my own. Don't worry. Don't get in the way. Like, you know, child. That's how I felt. <laughs> okay. And I, oh, I remember now. It, it was that I don't get up. And, and I, for a long time, I did not get up in time to even help. But then I've made a better effort to get up and help. Then I did, I kind of didn't get up maybe a few weeks ago and that was the time he was holding on to, but I know that I've been getting up other than that. So then today, he, he walked the dogs, he came back and I was still knocked out. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> so I was asleep before he, you know, like he said I would be and it, I was mad. And then he, it was like, you know, rippling off those, you know, okay, like you're just shitty. That's how, that's how I felt. Joy. I think I was misinterpreting. Joy <laughs> is creating these feelings by herself. I will not say it is a completely irresponsible or, or not based in any truth. I'm not going to sit here and say Justin, that. I, I'll ask but, you to offer me an alternative and you couldn't for 10 minutes. That's what I'm saying is like, because you, because it resonated with you. Like you knew that that is how you feel, but it's just nicer language. It is. <laughs> like that's how you feel, but with nicer language. It, it, it's not how I feel. As I told Joy, I, I recognize and understand who Joy is. I understand that's that she just does. another way of no. saying like, I'm okay with you being worthless piece of shit. I'm like, not saying you're sorry, a worthless. Sack. No, sack. I'm not saying you're worthless. You're a sack. I know that I'm more efficient. I'm more efficient than you are. And my work ethic, my work ethic is better than yours. I know that for sure. And so anything that you do in comparison to those two things is not going to, it, it's not going to reach my level. And you have said that. And I'm not right. saying this in a disrespectful way. I work harder, more efficiently, and different than you. It's truth. You have not run away from it. So in this past week, as I was telling Joy, she was able to just experience her day and her week without being around someone who moves at a completely higher level in a different pace. Again, I'm not saying- Different level. At a different level. Okay, I apologize. Because there's things that you do better than me, and I'm not going to sit here and say that that you don't. I was over here making my golden milk, like- So, this, like, so this is what I'm saying. I, I, Joy, I had a different- Joy was able to just move at her own I pace. I had peace. And no one was affected by it. Yeah. So when you get to just wake up and do what you want and no one is affected, it doesn't matter what right. you do because there's not an opinion this morning, that someone else has to, to give. I automatically felt the shift in energy and I was like, oh, okay. And so she back. felt it, but I didn't. And I, I had like, I nothing. I said absolutely nothing. You don't nothing. have to say anything. We have, how many times have we been, I can feel you, Justin. I, I can but feel the, you. But the thing was, I wasn't even judging you. I just laughed because I was like, what you're trying to argue me was that that, oh, you get up. I have accepted <laughs> that you're not going to help Monday. Okay, listen. So I don't hold, hold on. I, I have hold gotten on. up. And I did say I'm not gonna get up on, uh, early on Mondays to set up anymore. We gotta do it Sunday. But hold on, l l let me finish. What I'm telling you is I've accepted that your help on Monday is not dependable. No. Yeah, I have accepted that. Right. I'm not holding that so against had you. I. No, listen. <laughs> But you wanted to fight me and say that you can help me Mondays. And I said, I don't need your help Mondays because I, I got it no, by myself. I so want when your you, help on, on Sunday. Let me finish my All thought. Right, finish, finish. So what, I'm, what you are saying is that you are feeling something that I didn't even put out there. I told, I counted you out for over a year on Mondays and have, and have made peace with that. Completely made peace but with why counting you out on Monday. Set up on Sunday. I don't like the one. The truth is, the reason why I don't like setting up on Sunday is because I want to enjoy all of my Sunday. <laughs> I don't want to think about the show. I don't want to start setting up the show and then come in and see it. I don't want my. I don't want to look at equipment when I wake up first thing Monday morning. I don't like the the the, the tone that it sets right. for me going to bed. I don't like it. Okay. I don't want to walk into my living room so and see Mondays a studio. Are, or sorry, Sundays are a non-option. I don't like it. It just okay. it shifts my energy, and it's like, oh, here you go. Like you got to go get ready to record and like start your your week. I want to and fully enjoy my break and, and vacation of sorts. 
So that's why I don't set it up on Sunday. So I've made peace for over a year that you're not going to help me Monday. And I I'm think still I just, I feel guilty. I feel guilty about not being able to help on, on Mondays. So your guilt, you then are yeah. putting it on to me saying, I think you are a worthless piece of shit. Yeah. That's what I want you to get to this point of understanding yeah. why we're having this conversation. <laughs> yeah. You are creating your own thing. But I just said, let's do it on Sunday. Because I, we've established mornings are not where I'm going to excel. Like, they're just not. I don't, I'm not like, okay, rise and shine and get to work right away. I, I, I just, I've never really been that person. No. So I feel like if the show is set up, and all we have to do is sit down and record, I can I can get with that. But it's hard for me to like get out of bed, set up the show. And you're saying I don't need to worry about that, but then your energy doesn't feel like I don't need to worry about that, that. This is what you guys don't understand, is that when the show is set up in the morning, Joy is going to sleep even longer and get out of bed later, and we're still gonna be running up the same time crunch that we always have. It does not solve any issue. You understand that, right? It solves nothing. Absolutely nothing, because you're not going to adjust your behavior. But maybe it'll make me feel better. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This whole conversation is absolutely ridiculous. It's so annoying what because I'm, I I recognize I'm being unreasonable. Like I I, I am being unreasonable and, and in a sense. But so are you. But you have a reason behind. I'm not being unreasonable. I just create you solutions. You could just set up on Sunday, but you you have a reason why you couldn't. But I can you know set up on Monday and still be ready before you. 95 but think, out of 100 but then times. I, just, I feel like because you say like teamwork makes a dream work, so I can't, I want to be a good teammate. So I'm like, okay, this is how I could be a good teammate. And you're like, but I, I could do it better by myself. But it's also knowing that your teammate's not a good three point shooter, so I'm not going to kick it to you in the corner with three seconds left to hit it. a game winning shot. I recognize you, but if you're cutting to the basket, I know you're going to make a layup. So as a good leader, I'm going to put you in positions to score. I'm not going to leave you on the perimeter to hit a shot that I know you're not capable of making most of the time. What? That's okay. It have to be a basketball analogy. Of all things, we just talked about how I do not understand that game. But Literally, I'm, we just talked about it. But our I, listeners I, understand. I basically understand. What is you it, I'm, said. Not, I'm not. I'm not putting I you in positions. You're not putting in a position to fail. No. But I'm not gonna fail if I. Do. I'm okay. Never mind. Joy. I'm not gonna fail. You. I, I have your no track, ground your to stand track on rather, because your track record. Your track record has just said, got up late. Today. Exactly. Your track re record. But in my defense, you guys, and I know this isn't a solid defense, but today I thought that I was up. You know how you have that bath, that dream, like you get up and you go to the bathroom, and then you turn on the light and you realize, oh shoot I wasn't up this whole time and then like you wake up again and you go oh I need to go to the bathroom and then you fall back asleep and then anyway I had this whole dream that I got up it was a whole thing but anyway I thought I literally thought that I was up <laughs> and then when I heard you come in I was like oh shit I'm not awake <laughs> yeah what what blows my mind about this this whole conversation is is again I I know that I move and work differently and I understand if you're my friend more importantly if you're my spouse my wife you're gonna be like, Justin, I need you to calm down. And I, I, I don't have a turn off switch, I don't. Joy knows this. Right. I don't. I do and not I have an off And I think I'm just switch. needing to like readjust to that energy. But you do on weekends tend to chill out a little bit. More, I, I do. I do. But relax. it just felt like, oh, it's Monday. Like that's that's the best way I can. So no. So again, but what I'm saying is, I know that I I move at a pace that maybe not a lot of people. So you're move okay at. with me not moving at that? Same I'm pace. completely fine with it. And and I, I've told you that so many times. I carry. A load, and, and I'll speak again to let, let's use the, the finances for a, a a second. I know we've we talk about using the finances a lot, but there we have the budget in place. If the budget gets blown, if it, it overspending happens, I am the one who naturally makes the adjustment to make sure that we aren't screwed. I do ask Joy to take things into consideration. But there are times where she may take that into consideration, but we need something or things are piling up and it's, and it's unavoidable. But I'm still the person who is going to absorb all the blows. I'm, I'm naturally that person. And I, for the most part, when it comes to the functioning of our household and our marriage, I take those blows. And I'm willing to open myself up and be that person. I'm not judging you for not being that person. You feel that, but though. that was Why do you feel that? that? I, I need you to acknowledge the blows that I'm taking, too, because I acknowledge your blows. You do not acknowledge my blows. You, you're more like, I'm taking all these blows, and you're sitting pretty. And I'm over here like, but I'm getting blown up, too. And you're like, not like I am. That's how I feel.
that's how you, that's maybe how you feel, but that's what's not true. And then we need to talk, if that's how you feel, then we need to sit down and really talk about it. We talk about it <laughs> right now. Well, yeah, but it also like, so Joy had made a comment of saying she wanted me to thank her for holding down the house. And I said holding down the fort. Yeah, ho <laughs> holding, holding down the house, the fort, the same thing. And I, and I looked back and I was like, no, I, I didn't thank her. No. But in, in, in my mind, I was just like, oh, she's got it, because it's her house too. Like I didn't, yeah. I didn't think anything extra. But if you, if you feel <laughs> that that is something extra that you have to do, and you want to hear me thank you for that work, I have no problem thanking you for that. Because if you feel you need that, and again, this is not me being sarcastic, disrespectful, but if you're like, this took a lot more than what I'm used to, yeah. on top of everything. I want to be appreciated for that. I have no problem appreciating that. I, but like, come and tell me that. Yeah. Like, not throw darts and right hooks and jabs <laughs> at my chin at 7:45 in the morning. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Apparently, I need words of affirmation too, which we discovered that that is one of your love languages. But apparently, like, it's higher up on the totem pole for me too. I just need to know you see it. But I just don't think that you do, and I don't want to have to tell you to appreciate me. Like, it's too much. I, I know that you appreciate me. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but like I appreciate specific things. And I, and I will say I am guilty of of doing a lot. And because I'm doing a lot, I tend to ignore the little things that are getting done, but that are still important to the the, the team. They are. And I I can admit that I, I I do sometimes get get blinded by my plate that I don't see the other plates, but I do understand that those other items are essential to the household function. So for that, I apologize for not having my eyes open as much. I can do better on seeing outside of my periphery, but don't think it's a, a mat. It's not me saying, oh, Joy, you're a worthless piece of shit and you don't bring anything to this sack. household. Sack. I'm, whatever. You said worthless. So now you're trying to say sack to make it softer no, on the show. No, worthless sack of shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> worthless sack. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I feel like a sack is more than a piece, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm I saying, need you to understand the way that which I was feeling. It. Got you. So what I, I'm saying, that's not my feeling. Like, I don't want you to think that, oh, I, Joy's, Joy's absolutely nothing. I know that I got to do a lot. And I'm not comparing, I'm not expecting you to do everything that I do. Because you're not. Like, I think you would emotionally bend, break, and snap. But I don't want that. I genuinely don't want that. So if there are times where you're like, look, I need you to acknowledge this little percentage over here. Like, let's, <laughs> let's talk about it. Why is this still condescending? I feel like you would bend, break, and snap. But if you need me to acknowledge the little bit that you do, that's basically what you just said. Like, it's literally what you just said. Oh man, I guess I got more work to do. <laughs> you heard it. You said it. It's straight from the horse's mouth. I did. Like, like your your measly contribution. I will I will acknowledge it. Like that's literally. So so my feelings are not crazy. My feelings aren't crazy. They're just not. <laughs> They're not crazy. So anyway, my husband thinks I'm useless. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. It's not. I know it's, it's not. not true. It's not true. I'm being dramatic. You're being yourself. You're, you're not, it's not. It's not dramatic. I think what I look at in my head are the big ticket items. I think that's what I tend to look at, and a lot of the the big ticket items. Yeah, I would say this I a lot, it. and and it, it sounds like I'm making stuff up when I say this, but truly, I just think a lot of the stuff that you do is like super tangible. Right? So it's like, it's there's a lot of evidence for what you're doing. And I think a lot of what I do is not super tangible. Like, you can't be like, here's this thing, like, here's this spreadsheet of the work that I've put in. Gotcha. But if you were to take me out of the equation, you're like, oh shit, that made a difference. Like, you know? Like, I think it's it's that. No, for sure. And I, and I know that. So yeah. again, I'm not comparing you. I'm not comparing you to me. And just like, you're not comparing me to you. Like, I don't... I don't feel worthless. Like you understand? Like in our, in our relationship, it's very apparent. I don't feel you, worthless. You walk around like you're the golden child of like this relationship. Like, oh, I know I'm the man. Like that's that's. But I, I feel how how okay, how responsible are you for that that feeling? 
That you're the golden child? No, 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 not the golden child, but if, like, the, or the reason why I don't feel inadequate ever is because I know I'm coming to the plate and I'm, and I'm swinging every also, time I step I up to the plate. Also, I do not shuck out feelings of inadequacy to you. You're not like amazing in every single aspect of life. 100%. But I, I, I reinforce you with positive feedback always. Like even emotionally, I'm throwing positive vibes your way you there is no reinforcement i am my reinforcer and your reinforcer so that's that's what i'm trying to say interesting yeah okay let me chew on that a little bit but again we've already had this conversation i, I, know, but, I think we've had it on this no show. but but again you tell me you love me and i appreciate you daily I, no, 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 there's, there, there is not a, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. I definitely say I appreciate you, you appreciate more than you say I appreciate me. I, you, you say more like you appreciate me and like leave it at that. And I think I'm better at saying like I appreciate that you are doing this. Or I appreciate you for this. Like instead of. And I think Just it's like in general. And as you said, like yours are some more so of the intangible. More intangible so yeah. it's hard to That's appreciate fair. the intangibles. <laughs> like, like how like how yeah. how do you address something that you can't quantify right. or see? It's just like the feeling. Like I know, like I I, I get it. Right. Like, but it, it's hard to to really say. And, it, and it's funny you bring that up because I, I had uh, someone who I used to work with sent me a text last night and just saying, you know, things aren't quite the same mm -hmm. as they once were when you were working at this company. Mm -hmm. He's like, just, there's something that was there that is no longer present within the company. And I knew that my role in that company were was those intangibles. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew it. And I don't necessarily know if the, the leads or the heads of the company recognized it. I think they were quantifying, well, here's his responsibilities. We can give those to other right. people and the same work can be done and we can go in a, in a different direction. Right. But what that person realized, and I, and I, I know he's not the only person because it's not the only text that I've right. received, is you can't replace those intangibles. Right. And I know that I can't replace those intangibles. Okay. Like I, I know that for sure. I've always said, well, I, I can't be the best me without you. Oh, okay. I've said that. <laughs> I've said that multiple times. I said, Joy makes me better. She challenges me. She pushes me to a point, and, and, and not even just a point to be the best version of me, but even the way I think, the way I move. Like, even this the, the whole ab challenge that we've been on, I started to get abs because of Joy. Yeah. Like, genuinely. And she was just like, okay, you're working out, but like, if you really want to get abs, like, you're going to have to do some core. And I was like, man, I really don't have that much core integrated into my workout. I was like, bet, I got to do it. And then Joy said, well, I'm going to make this a competition. And she's doing 500 sit-ups a day. And I was like, well, I'm about to do 522 a day. Which I was mad about. Yeah, she. Was, but it's like, <laughs> she pushes me. And I, I just take what she says, and I put it into play. So it's like, I know. You are excellent at so that. So I know for sure that I. I can't be giving away my secrets though. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I. I can't be doing stuff on the low. I know I can't operate at a high level without, you're the fuel. Yeah. That, that keeps the jet jet moving. A yeah. plane can't fly without fuel. Right, At the end I of the just, day, the, our, the, the plane has, you need a plane to fly, but the plane in and of itself, no matter how amazing the architecture is, right. it cannot move without fuel. But I think sometimes being the fuel feels a little thankless. That's all it is. Like, nobody's coming, like, getting on a plane being like, ooh, like, is this filled with fuel? Like, nobody, you know what I'm saying? That's real. So it's like, I, I think that's probably what I'm feeling. It's like, no, I know that in my heart, like I'm an essential part of the operation. It's just sometimes I feel overlooked. That's all. And, and I think it's important too for the fuel to sometimes be a plane. And I know I, I got frustrated with that. <laughs> it doesn't work for No, it doesn't job. work. But I, I know I, I got frustrated yeah. at my old job is I knew I was the intangible. I was mm. doing the intangibles that made things work, but I, I wanted my name, my face to be more present at times and it just wasn't. And I knew that was frustrating because I knew I wasn't just an intangible player. Mm -hmm. I had both the intangibles and the tangibles to make something happen, but how I was positioned within the company, I couldn't quite it didn't really yeah. make it happen. So it did get to a point where I got frustrated and I was like, yo, I need to go and do something else because I'm not just the fuel. Right. I'm a, I'm a goddamn plane too. I'm a 747 monster. You know? Right, and I do feel that way too. I just I need I need an opportunity to soar. So I think that that's where 
I'm uh, I'm still trying to figure that out too. So which then that's not on you.